Hello, Sagittarius. This is Heavenly Tarot. Okay, I'm doing um, a love read on you guys. Love concerns. Okay, it may resonate. It may not. If it if it doesn't, maybe it will next time. Okay, it is a collective general read. Welcome to my new viewers. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe before you leave. All right, you guys. Holy Spirit, show us Sagittarius energy concerning love. Show us Sagittarius energy concerning love. I don't need that many cards. Well, I'll go ahead and do what I usually do. Show us Sagittarius energy concerning love. Show us Sagittarius energy concerning love. I just need two cards. Holy Spirit. Sagittarius energy because I love. Hmm. I'll keep that one. I need one more. Okay, so we have the two of pentacles. We have the king of wands, the Aries, or someone's innerly satisfying you, or vice versa. Page of swords, somebody, you either cut somebody off, somebody cut you off, or it's a younger Gemini, I mean, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Seven of swords, someone's deceiving you, or you're deceiving someone, or someone's trying to get away with something. Okay, the six of swords, moving to better waters. Six of cups, third party situation, celebrations, reuniting. Page of Cups, Water Sign, Scorpio, Cancer, um, obviously, Scorpio, Cancer, and what is the other one? Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. I always forget that one. I don't know why. Pisces, maybe it seems like Pisces is not a water sign, even though they are crybabies. <laughs> Six of Cups, um, someone's coming in and offer you a cup, or you want to do that to someone, offer them a cup. Ten of Swords, somebody betrayed you, backstabbed you, or somebody could be ill, depressed, okay, or vice versa. Seven of Cups, options, confusions, okay, or somebody's thinking of bearing gifts. Five of Cups, disappointments. Six of Wands, charging forward in a victory in a situation. Hold on, you guys. Oh, you were, oh, you're on your way? Yeah. Did All right. you hear me? Yeah, he had pizza. All right, bye-bye. Mommy! Shh. Shh, shh, Yeah. Okay, so in your energy, you're juggling an idea of an Aries. Or... It's an Aries juggling the idea of you. Either way, okay? You cut this person off. Or they cut you off. Okay, because you felt like they were deceiving you or vice versa. Or they felt like you were deceiving them. Okay, so let's see. Let me make sure. The page of swords. Holy Spirit, clarify. Holy Spirit, clarify this page of four and Sagittarius energy. Okay. So, if they didn't cut you off or if you didn't cut them off, they're wanting a new beginning with you. And they're moving towards, they're moving to where you are to have this new beginning with you. Or you're moving to have a new beginning to them with them. Okay? So somebody is deceiving someone. Or you, you may think that they're gonna they're deceiving you because they're wanting to start a new beginning with you. Boys need to be around. So you might be skeptical about the situation. Okay. 
And if it's people. vice versa, they might be skeptical of you if it's you wanting a new beginning with them. They may think you're trying to get away with something. You, they think you may be deceiving them. Holy Spirit, clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords and Sagittarius energy concerning love. I'm, I'm doing my reading, Shika. Bye. Bye. Clarify. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Holy Spirit. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Swords and Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, okay, they're, they want to move. They want a new beginning with you. So, they're thinking of moving to where you are to start this new beginning with you. So, when they come in, they may be deceiving you about their stability. Okay? They they may be making you think that they're all, they have stability, they have everything together, but they may not. Okay? Alright? Or it could be vice versa. You could be deceiving them. Okay? Or this could mean they're deceiving you about having stability with someone. They could they could have stability with someone else already, but they're gonna deceive you and tell you they do not, okay? Or vice versa, okay? If it's not you, it's them, okay? All right. So they may come in deceiving you about what a stability situation with you, okay? They're gonna tell you they want to move to better waters with you. Holy Spirit, clarify the six of swords. Clarify the Six of Swords and Sagittarius Energy. Okay. Mm. It's a Scorpio, Queen of Cups. So they may have stability with the Scorpio. They're going to come in telling you that they want um, stability with you or they're going to be deceiving you about this. But they actually have stability with the Scorpio. So they must be trying to deceive you to get something from you that they want. So they feel like they have to tell you this. Okay. But it's showing, yeah, they're going to have you in a third party situation. With the Scorpio. Holy Spirit, clarify this three of cups. Clarify this three of cups in Sagittarius energy. Okay. Hmm. They're fighting now. They have their guard up, though. With this Scorpio, they have a lot of conflict, confusion, and argument. Okay. Holy Spirit, clarify this five of wands. Or you and this person could have, you might have your guard up with them. If it's not them having you in a third party situation, they may be trying to reunite with you, but you have your guard up with this person. You, d you don't trust them because you may feel that they're trying to deceive you about the stability, situ stability situation that they do have with a Scorpio, but you might be sensing something. It's not right that they have somebody. Okay. So you may have your guard up with this person. And you having your guard up with this person is causing um, confusion between you guys. Arguments. And they're trying to think, plan, and strategize how to get you to get take your guard down. Okay? So you having your guard up is causing confusion between you guys. And they're trying to plan and strategize how to bring your guard down so they could come in and offer you something they're look they're thinking of creative ideas on how to come in to you holy spirit clarify this page of cups and this person might have water in their chart this aries they might have pisces scorpio cancer in their chart 
Okay. Yeah, they're, they're going to come in and try to have creative ideas to come in and um, offer growth. They want growth with you. They're trying to... This, yeah. But they're still with the Scorpio. Or this card, if they're not with the um, Scorpio, but well, I think I, they they may be emotional about wanting this stability with you. Or if this isn't this water sign, this might be a water sign that's trying to have creative ideas um, about um, having growth with you. Okay, if it's not this. Aries coming in to you to get growth. They're just sitting thinking because it's going to take them a while. The Knight of Pentacles, this takes a while before they move in. They think and strategize and plan, make sure the coast is clear so they could get what they want. Okay, so this will be a while. There's no telling how long that will be if it, if even it even happens. Okay, so over here you have a cancer water sign that's thinking of growth with you. Just want growth with you. They're thinking of offering you a cup, a four of cups. They want to come in and offer you a cup, okay? Holy Spirit, clarify the four of cups. Holy Spirit, clarify this four of cups and Sagittarius energy concerning love. Yeah, they want to offer you stability, comfort, and security. The ten, they want the family, the dog, the house. They want it all with you. They want to give this to you. Stability, security, and comfort. Okay? They want to come in and offer commitment as well. They want to commit. Maybe engagement. They want to lead to marriage. Okay? So then we have the Ten of Swords. Somebody's feeling like they were betrayed, backstabbed. Or it could be saying this person is ill. This person is maybe sick. Or this person feels like they betrayed you. They're coming in to commit to you. Maybe they feel like they betrayed you. Okay? But they want balance again with you. That's what they're saying, okay? They want to bring the balance back between you two. Okay? Seven of Cups. Um, this Cancer has a lot of options. This water sign. Whether it be Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer person. They have a lot of options. Holy Spirit, clarify. Okay, but they see you as an empress. Beautiful. They see themselves having a family with you. Okay, they want to commit to a cup. They want to commit to you, Sag. All right, they're praying for this. They meditate on you. Okay, so then we have the Five of Cups. There's disappointment. Holy Spirit, clarify the Five of Cups. Oops. Holy Spirit, clarify this Five of Cups and Sagittarius. Love reading concerning love. Okay, mm. there's disappointment because they may find out that you have whoever this is for that you have you're attached to someone else. Okay, or they're disappointed because they have addictions. But you're, um, yeah, they find out you're attached to something, someone else. Or this is you. You're disappointed. Because they're attached to someone else. Okay. And they're feeling like they're out in the cold. They're trying to manifest. They're feeling like they're at a loss because they can't get what they want with you. Okay. So they're walking away, or this is you. You walked away. However, this resonates. 
Okay. Or it could have been with the Capricorn. This could be a whole other story. There's disappointment when it comes to a Capricorn. Okay, this Capricorn is attached to someone else, but obsessed. It has addictions. Okay, they, they may not want to let you go. They're trying to manifest you. But hold on to someone else. Okay, and you have them feeling like they're on the cold, so they walk away because you don't want that, maybe. You don't want someone that's attached to someone else. Okay, then you have the six of wands. Someone wants to come in and charge in a victory. Holy Spirit, clarify the six of wands. A Scorpio. Okay, there's a Scorpio who wants a victory with you. They want to charge in and have a victory with you. But you don't know this. This is a secret. Holy Spirit, clarify this moon card. Okay, they're wanting a family with you. They're holding this a secret that they want to um, they want to marry you. Okay, but this person is stuck right now. They're trapped. They may, I don't know, they could be in jail, but they're trapped, they're stuck right now. They're going through a struggle, but they're almost through their struggle, okay? They're going through some type of struggle, this person. So that's why they're stuck and trapped, the Scorpio. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, clarify the Nine of Wands and Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, and it's a Taurus that they going through a struggle with. Okay, or it's saying um, the Scorpio they're going through a struggle. They're handling things discreetly. You know, they're being careful how they go about doing things to get this victory with you. They're all about their worth. Okay, or they realize your worth. Okay. All right, so that's the end of your reading, Sag. I hope you guys enjoyed the read. God bless you guys. I'm sorry about, about the noise in the background. That's my grandbaby. All right. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Love, peace, and happiness. You guys have a great night. All right. Good night.